This is an English wardrobe made to dismantle for travel, a campaign wardrobe. It's made of um, simulated mahogany. This is a faux paint finish to it to resemble mahogany. And it's round about 1840 in date. Now, we've seen a number of different wardrobes made to dismantle in the past. Most of them are Channel Island wardrobes and they follow the French armoire design. And basically, they were made to dismantle purely for the ease of moving them upstairs into a bedroom or out for setting them up. We have seen some colonial ones, Anglo-Indian ones, which are more likely made for longer travel to bring back from um, Sri Lanka, Ceylon, back to England when the owner was perhaps returning home after his travels. This one's a little bit different. This is unusual and it's something we haven't seen before. For a start, the low height of it. A Channel Islands wardrobe is going to be way up here. It's going to be a much fuller sized wardrobe. And this, the height of this one is actually is quite interesting and quite uh, practical, quite useful. And again, that fits in with its use for travel. So I'm going to show you um, in a little video that we took earlier uh, on how it dismantles. But uh, I want to just go through a few points on it first, which are a little bit unusual and some of which are unexplained to us at the moment. So if we turn it around, we will see we've got a panelled back painted green um, and you have got this unusual gap at the bottom here. Now, we don't know what that was for. We can't explain it. Um, it doesn't really make any sense to us. Let's have a look on the inside. And there are one or two more clues, but still, unfortunately, they don't fully explain it. So, we've got a couple of wooden twist catches on this door here, which if we turn, we'll just open it. Hopefully you can see them there. If we look to the inside, there are some shadow marks. And it's possible that there was a shelf which was sat here. Um, but then why you would need that gap, I still don't know. This green paint is not original. It's probably put on maybe about 100 years ago, at a guess. And we can see evidence of the original paint underneath it. Now, the green paint might have hidden a few shadow marks or whatever, which might have given some clues, but those are gone. We've also got these four blocks on each side um, and they possibly might have supported a shelf and you've got this wedge shape here where possibly the shelf fitted underneath that. We don't know, that's a guess but perhaps a fairly reasonable guess. This board we've had made for it and it removes. It's possible it had a board originally or it's possible that it just had some material tacked over there but certainly for modern use it's much more practical to have a board in there and we've also um, put in this hanging rail you've got to be able to hang your clothing but from the inside you can get a bit of an idea of the construction as well the back and the sides and the doors are all panelled so how does it dismantle well, first of all, what you have to do, 
just like a Channel Islands wardrobe, is unscrew the back panel. That's the section which fixes it all together. So you've got one, two screws down from the top into it, and you've got screws on the sides which also fix it. And the panel fits into a rebate to the sides and to the top. With the back panel off, the top lifts off. And the top fits to the sides on tenon and mortise joints. So you've got tenons to the sides at the top and at the bottom to fit it to the base and you've got mortise holes to the top. So that just lifts off. When that lifts off, you can then remove the doors. Now the doors have got special Baldwin hinges. So um, you can lift the door off on the hinge. The one part of the hinge remains to the side panels and the other part to the door. So the pin on the side panel just fits into the sleeve of the hinge section to the door. Now, we've had to replace them on this side, but they work in the same manner. So then you have the doors removed, and the side panels can simply lift off on their hinges. You'll see it hopefully all in the speeded up um, video, but in reverse with us setting up the wardrobe. That leaves you with this baseboard that we've made, which just pops up, and then you've got the base frame with the feet fixed. So, hopefully I've explained that um, properly to you. Let's cut and have a look at the video of us setting up the wardrobe. So, that's the wardrobe all set up. So, to sum it up, it's an English wardrobe, um, probably made for an army officer, made for travel, rather than just simply to be able to take it up or down the stairs. It's painted faux mahogany, um, and it's around about 1840 in date. And actually, for modern use, this lower height which gives you a shelf on the top here, is really quite practical. English, 1840s, campaign wardrobe.